Okay, so here I'm going to start uh, drawing out my orthographics. Um, and there's really nothing different what I'm doing here than when I actually started creating uh, this guy over here. Um, when I just started sketching the thumbnails, it's pretty much the same process where I create a layer, I do a sketch, and then I drop the opacity, and then I just continue drawing on top of it. There are a few new things I'm doing uh, just to help with the symmetry of the um, of the orthographic and make sure that oops, make sure that um, everything I do is matching up as far as you know the head matches up in the right spots. So whenever I bring it into Maya um, to start to model this guy, um, the orthographic views will kind of match up for the most part. Now I'm not really going to do a top view. Um, I just typically do a front and a side view. Now the side view, it's important to note, always needs to be facing to the left because that's the way the, um, the viewport in Maya is. So it always faces to the left. And if you, you know, by accident make it facing towards the right or something, you would just have to come in and, and flip it so it's facing towards the left so it all works out um, in Maya. So um, the few things I'm doing that I haven't gone over yet is basically I'm using guides. So to get to your guides, um, you're going to go to view and you want to show your rulers. Your rulers may not be there by default. So I'm just going to go to view rulers and then I get my rulers along here, the, the, uh, the top and the left side. And then I can click on a ruler here and I can drag down a guide. And you'll see that I already have a bunch of guides set up to make sure that, you know, everything gets lined up. Now, um, if you don't have, or if you have snapping on, let me put on snapping just to show you uh, what's going to happen. If you do have snap on, whenever you draw, whenever you have your guides up and you start to draw, your brush will kind of snap to your guides. So that's going to be kind of difficult uh, to draw under these guides if that's going on. So what you're going to want to do is go up to view and then turn snap off. And now you can come in and kind of draw freely without it snapping to those guides. Now to get rid of these guides, uh, if you hold down control and hover over them, you can kind of click on them and drag them around and you can just drag them back up to the, the ruler and they'll disappear. You can also go to view, show, guides, and that would just turn them off. They're still there, but you don't no longer see them. So if I want to get those same guides back, I can just go to view, show, guides. And then if I want to clear them out completely, if I don't need my guides anymore, I'll go to view, clear guides and then that will get rid of my guides completely. Um, another thing that I'm doing and I've kind of already gone over this but I'll just go over it again. If I feel like I need to move something um, I'll just go grab my lasso tool and kind of lasso around a section of the arm and then I'll hit control T which is free transformations I can move my pivot point over to where I want that arm to pivot and then I can kind of move that arm around where I want it. Um, so that's one cool trick that I like to do a lot. Bring that back. And the other thing I do is um, I mirror. So. It's not really useful for the side view, but for the front view, it's very useful to kind of make things go a little faster and you only really have to draw one half of it. So basically what I'll do is, um, for example, like the head, I'll start drawing the head. And once I get it kind of fleshed out, um, I'll just duplicate it. So if I hold down Control and Alt, I can drag, oops, don't want to do that. Do that on a new layer. So 
something like that. Um, so what I can do is I can control alt click and drag and I can drag off a copy of that and then I'll go to edit transform flip horizontal and then that will basically mirror it over and then I can line it up again so that's another thing you're gonna see me do um, quite a bit especially on the front view not really on the side view but the front view uh, especially so um, the next video or this actual video is me just drawing uh, this front and side view as it is. I'll probably create another one where I go in and clean up the line work a little bit and then maybe um, maybe draw out his his rucksack and staff and sword and everything just so I have them as a guide on my orthographic sheet and then I'll probably clean this up to make it look nice and uh, and presentable as well. So um, I'm going to show you me drawing these two orthographic views as they are and uh, the video is sped up about 300 percent so um, it's going a lot faster than than I'm actually drawing it just so keep that in mind um, you don't really need to try to draw that fast um, I'm just for sake of making things a little quicker and making these videos a little quicker um, and not so boring I'm speeding up a lot of this stuff uh, just to make it go by a little faster. All right, so here I go.